Hello, um, this is just a little blog uh, for anyone for anyone who's had a friend or a loved one uh, die of suicide. Um, and it's, it's just popped into my head because recently I went to uh, a sort of, not a friend, but an acquaintance's funeral who'd uh, died of suicide. And um, I, only, I only met him once. Um, but I stayed at his house, I put on a, an event, a mental health event, which I was playing at, and um, he struck me as a very sort of exciting, virulent person. I mean, I think he was manic depressive, uh, so when I met him, he was on an up, and you know, he was incredible. Um, and then, a few weeks after, I found out that he'd, that he'd killed himself, and um, and I went to the funeral, and his friend was giving a speech, and um, and he was saying, you know, this raises a lot of questions, and which we don't know how to answer. And um, and I really felt like I wanted to say to everyone there, you know what? This wasn't his final word. This wasn't his end statement. I mean, it, it kind of is. But I don't think it should be seen as as such, um, because uh, you know he was ill. It wasn't. If you think majoritively about his life, then this was not his definitive take on life. He he was ill, and um, having been there twice. I have to turn this back on so I keep it like me. Having been there twice, one sort of half-heartedly, one very virulently, um, all I can say is my experience of it, it was, it wasn't me. Um, it really wasn't me. I can so look back and see that I was ill. And, you know, it's strange how the memory works. You can look back on it, but, and you can remember, I mean, one I can't remember at all, but you can look back on it, the other one, and you can remember maybe what you were thinking, the, the phrases in your head, and, and what you did, but I can't really remember the, the colour of that feeling, the taste of it, you know, um, because that's the way the body works. It, it forgets, forgets these horrible painful things um so yeah it, it wasn't me and it wasn't him um and i think the real tragedy the real tragedy which we must accept is that he was successful you know uh i wasn't very successful obviously both times and you know if he'd have if he'd have survived it he would have, uh, I don't know, three months, four months after, maybe longer after the event, just look back on it with a quizzical, raised eyebrow, sort of thinking, what the hell was I thinking? Where the hell was I at? And, you know, the real tragedy of that event was that he was successful. Um, so, yeah, I want people... If they've, if they've got friends or family who have killed themselves, to just try and think about it that way. I mean, the way I think about it, with particular reference to him and me, is um, I think, basically, uh, a simple way of looking at it is we were both asthmatics. So we went through life, and we used our inhaler, and we dealt with it. For, for most of our lives and we lived quite a normal life but occasionally we'd have to use the inhaler more and you know you, you just you just got through life dealing with this thing that occasionally pops up and the way I look at it is he had just a very a very severe attack uh, and an asthma attack killed him which is can happen you know and I try to think of it like that um, and I know, I know maybe there have been some suicides in the past which have been more thought through, more, more decided, maybe if the person's ill, but with depression, I think most of the time the suicide happened because the person was ill, because depression had taken hold of them 
and and it wasn't them and um, yeah I think I mean thinking about this helps me helps me to put it in logic and put it in logic to give it some logic and to make sense of it and you know when I feel this way in a very profound deep level it's not me intellectualizing it I know at least how it was with me you know this is when it happened to him this is how it made me feel and um yeah so it's not it's not a rejection of you and the world by someone going oh, I want out and everything it's just they they were ill and um Someone said, an occupational therapist said this to me in hospital. She said, you didn't want to kill yourself. You just wanted to stop feeling how you were feeling. And I think that's, that's the most, that's a really good way of looking at it. And um, yeah, it was a, a real shame. And uh, um, yeah, it just makes me sad. Um, Anyway, so it is Christmas. I know this is a terrible thing to leave you with at Christmas, but um, just remember, I know we're here to celebrate the birth of Christ, but remember the death of Christ was a suicide of sorts for your sins. So um, I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, so that is my take on suicide and how if it's happened to someone you love, how you should deal with it. Thank you for listening and good night. Good night.